I am in love with Walmart grocery pickup, you guys. Hey guys, okay, it is Saturday morning and it's time to share my meal plan, the groceries that I got for this week. Use Walmart grocery pickup because you guys are awesome and you've been using my link Every time you guys use the link in the description, it gives you $10 and it gives me $10. So this was $10 cheaper than what it would have been, which really does stack up and help towards my grocery budget for the entire month. So let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so this was $66.08. That's including that $10, so it was $75 something. And one of these things I messed up on. I paid more than I should have, but that was my bad. I'm just gonna have to think of things to use it on so it doesn't go bad. And that is this half gallon of half and half. I thought I was getting the picture. I didn't read it because, you know, I just click on pictures. That's the only thing about using the online ordering. You really need to pay attention to the sizes that you're getting. So I did not need this huge thing of half and half. Now I can use it for creamer. Um, and then I do need, I think, one cup for a recipe. So if you guys have any other uh, uses for this, let me know because I mean, I have until September 4th, but well, not really. Cause once you open this, I think it's like seven to 14 days before it starts going bad. I don't know, but let me know if you guys have any ideas for what I can use for this so it doesn't go bad. Um, and then one food item I just went ahead and kept in my grocery budget because it was just easier than separating it is I ran out of gallon baggies. I went ahead and just got the great value, the Walmart brand, um, 60 bags in here. All right, rest of the groceries were just fine and exactly what I needed. We got some celery, carrots, parsley, a cucumber, some little sweet grape tomatoes. I got two packages of my kiddo's favorite yogurt and it being Saturday morning, they were completely out and two of them are eating it right now at the table behind me. I got a watermelon. This is something that was a little bit pricey, but I don't pick up all the time. I just need it for a recipe, and that is the apple smoked cheddar cheese crafted in Wisconsin. I rarely ever buy cheese that's, you know, a little bit more on the pricey side. Got some noodles, some bow ties, and some shells. Um, needed this for a recipe also, and this was just faster than buying bacon and cooking it myself. This is already fully cooked, original thick cut bacon, ready to eat, about 10 slices by Hormel Black Label. In here I have two pounds of ground beef, extra lean ground beef, some eggs, orange juice, just one milk this week. We didn't really drink as much milk last week, so I still have one, um, which you know saved me a little bit going into this week. Ran out of mayo and peanut butter, so we got some more of those. I have two jars of this Newman's Own Organics Tomato and Basil Spaghetti Sauce, a big old 48 ounce beef broth, whipping cream, quartered artichoke hearts, cannelli beans, dark red kidney beans, and a big thing of petite diced tomatoes, all for recipes. So. That is what I spent my $66.08 on at Walmart. So now let's go over the menu plan. All right, you guys, here is the dinner list for July 8th to the 14th. And because I used Walmart grocery pickup, I didn't even need to tear my grocery list off. Look at that, it's still on here. <laughs> um, so on Sunday, we are actually, I'm carrying over a dinner that I didn't end up making last week. Um, and this is probably gonna happen a lot over the next month because we're out at my parents' house more often working on the little tiny home that we're gonna be moving into. And either we'll bring Brenner, we'll bring a dinner over or my parents will cook, which is what happened last week. So we're carrying over this honey garlic shrimp with rice and broccoli. Then we're gonna have a copycat recipe that I am in love with, the pasta fajol from Olive Garden um, with salad and breadsticks. Then we're just gonna have breakfast for dinner, so I wrote down Brenner. Wednesday is just gonna be a sausage on the grill with baked beans and pasta salad. Thursday is just baked chicken. I got this like sweet and spicy panko bread mix from the Dollar Tree that I really wanna try. So I'm just gonna bake that up with some chicken and we're gonna have corn on the cob and mac and cheese with that. 
Friday is gonna be leftovers because I am assuming we're definitely gonna have leftovers of the soup. And then I don't know if we'll have leftovers, probably of the pasta salad and maybe some chicken, we'll see. And then Saturday is either going to be, I'm gonna use some of my Thrive items or it's just gonna be a shipwreck where I just find whatever I have on hand. I don't go to the grocery store and I make whatever I can um, into a dinner. So that is the meal plan, guys. All right, so that is my grocery haul and menu plan for today. If you guys enjoy seeing what I pick up every week to feed my family of six, including what I'm making with these items, the menu plan, give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I post three to four times a week, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.